you guys, this is Big and Country coming at you from the studio. So I've been playing DZ, not streaming, not recording it, just so I can get used to the game, get used to the controls, because I've had this game for about four or five years, but never really put any time into it. Maybe three hours at most, and then got distracted with other things. And I haven't touched it in probably two and a half, three years. But with all the new updates that come out and how everything was running way better, way smoother, and I actually have a way better gaming rig from a few years ago, that I thought I'd play it again and get used to it before I started doing any recording or streaming of it so I don't look like an absolute dunce trying to figure it out. Well, the new 1.06 update has come out with the Livonia DLC, and I downloaded it. I bought the DLC, even though I'm not 100% sure if we should be, being it's been a while since they've really done anything related to DLC for the game, as well as they've mostly just been spending their time patching the issues that have arisen from it. Well, after downloading it, I've had a slight issue, and I'll show you. We'll launch Deal Daisy right now. This is the screen you normally get. I want to point something out specific. Battle Eye, right here, is currently checked, meaning enable it. Watch what happens here when I play, and this will automatically shut off when the game starts up. Starting Battle Eye service. And yes, I have an optimizer. Don't judge. The game will start as normal, and it seems like it's perfectly fine. But every single time, it'll run, it looks like it's just running just fine. When you try to join a server, something weird tends to happen, and I don't really get why. Now, I am going to be forwarding my issues to Bohemian to see if they can figure out it. I'm also going to be sharing this video once it's uploaded to them to at least have a general idea as to a few of the issues because there are actually a few that I've seen one of the bigger ones that I have seen actually was the same as me Daisy will not start after the patch this was mine maybe there's an issue that can be fixed Livonia is not spawning loot file missing um, some of the servers obviously are still 1.5, that can't really be fixed. Causes interference with mods, some of them not too surprising, because a lot of them are set for the 1.0 to 1.05 with updates to the mods. Lagging every one minute. This one I actually have seen, because one of my friends didn't have the same issue I'm having now. The game would lag so badly. Almost reminding me of 7 Days to Die's 18, Alpha 18 update, where I normally would run it with upwards of 100 frames per second with a GTX 1060. That's what I have, it's meant for VR. It's able to run everything pretty well, especially VR. I've never had an issue with ever with lag in VR, for God's sakes. And 7 Days specifically. Ramping my GP up to 100%, whether it's single player on my own or hosting a small server so my friend could join on my gaming laptop, which on the lowest settings on the gaming laptop ran completely fine for him as connected to me as the host. But my CPU was always above 50 some odd percent, almost 75% or more in some cases. And my GPU was always maxing out at 100% for no random reason while still gaining a lot of lag. And I have no idea what the problem is at. FPS insta drops relating to that. And there's a couple more on here that are a little more recent. Anything down here, don't worry about. But texture and shadow problems, launch load failure, battle eye launcher install window every time I want to join a server. This right here is my issue every single time and I'll show you what that looks like can't move 
says access violation, then crash. I've had one of those. Unable to locate running instance of Steam. I, I have not seen that, but I've seen that in other games. Daisy won't launch from new launcher. Um, I've never really read in this one yet, so I can't really tell on that one. I completely glossed over that for whatever reason. Nonetheless, this right here loads just fine as it normally would. This is a random character I was playing before I said, screw it, I'm good. I'm going to bed. Hit play. This right here pops up every time. And also look down here. Only Battle Eye and the launcher are open. It closes down my game every single time. Even if I hit this right here, say install, accept, yes. Battle Eye service is successfully installed. Cool. That should be done. It resets everything. Let's try it one more time. Battle Eye is still enabled after reinstalling. And for whatever reason, it doesn't fix it. And note how I checked off, never mention again, never bring this message up again. Well, as soon as I go to join another server, it will pop back up again, even though I told it not to. And it just doesn't like me. And apparently I'm not the only one with this issue. Obviously, those that are having an issue are not always going to be putting it up on the discussion forum of Steam, because they may have bought the game from some other seller, um, or whatever else. But I'm not the only one with this issue. Some of the other issues of people that are able to get into the game without much of an issue, the game itself is having issues. And I don't really know why. What it almost seems like is they were just bringing the experimental version in without fully testing it, which I don't 100% get. But who knows? So, Bohemian, I hope you guys fix this. I would like to be able to play my newest favorite game all over again and actually be able to play it versus sitting here and hoping I can. Because at this point, now I have to wait for a patch before I can do anything. I have physically gone in, physically gone in and deleted, keyword deleted, the battle eye folder from the commons section of my program files directly. I've gone in here and I've deleted it. And for whatever reason, it refuses to work. I have restarted the computer. I have done as everything I can without completely reinstalling Windows, which I am not a fan of attempting to do at 5 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time. Not a big fan of doing that. So I hope it gets fixed. I hope there's a immediate patch that comes out that's not 3 gigabytes large. And I hope things want to work again. So once again, this is Bacon Country. I hope I have touched on a couple things that other people have had issues with. And let's voice our concerns to Bohemian. Let's tell them that this game was working just fine and now it's not. So, I hope everyone has a good day. And I'll catch you the next time. Have a good one.